Hello guys, Smosha here for another more detailed SAM2 broadcaster tutorial. Basically, my last one was just talking about, you know, what the playlist is, decks, cues, history, sound effects, and voice effects. And basically what statistics and encoders are, and basically how to use Auto DJ and play Q. Well, this one's going to be more detailed, so listen up, and I hope you're ready to learn. Anyway, we're going to start with the playlist as before. Basically, this is where all your music will be, but if you're curious on how to add a song, you click the big green plus. You go to your music files, and you either click one to add, or you can basically just choose a bunch to add. doesn't matter. And if you like to remove any songs, you basically just highlight them. Easy way is to shift, hold shift, and basically just press the down arrow or the up and hit the minus. All right, that's basically that. Or you can do this and remove duplicates. All right, well, basically we're going to start with the Q. Basically, you know, you just double click. Or you can do it the hard way and just open up a media file from your computer whatever you want and the sound effects we're going to, I'm going to show you how to add a sound effect which can include jingles, radio liners, backtracking songs or deaths basically just anything alright well this is how you do it well let's find one here suppose I want to add uh, let's say hours of request we would right click go to song info go to the type and most time it would be on normal song just click the down arrow and go to sound FX and it is now in here most of the time you can just click the drop down arrow click sound FX all and it should be in there which if I remember correctly it is right here all right well basically that's about it on that there's a lot of different things you can do we won't get into too much details but this is gonna have a lot more details than usual alright well the decks here well basically if you see how mine's set up where it's just a little bit down a little bit <clears throat> that's to make sure it's not too loud on the uh, shoutcast radio well we're gonna get into a little bit more details here about the decks here well if you go to deck A and just click equalize you can view all the different functions and equalizers basically I got my preset uh, believe it's set to live yeah and basically it just changes the effect of more live effect and basically preamp on the side just makes it louder here for an example modest mouse just float on or we can make it really quiet basically that's about it on that and on the tempo effects now this is pretty cool if you like remixes and stuff you can just and the rate basically just changed it to a really weird voice same with the pitch that's about it on there alright well the voice FX, uh, there's a lot of different functions on this. Microphone basically is how high your microphone is. Most of them I have mine on 95%. And the music, uh, whenever you click press talk, if you look on the decks over here, you can see the levels go down. Basically, this is to decide how low the levels will be, which will be how quiet your songs get. Which, if I play Modest Mouse and press it, it gets quiet in case you want to talk in the middle of your songs. You release and it goes back up. And the fade in, fade out time is, if you go to bring this up just a little bit, you'll notice that the levels go down a lot slower. And this, they go down quicker, but they go up slower. <laughs> so you have to configure that so whenever you press it, they go up in time. So I just bring them both down at the bottom. Alright, well, that's about it on here. Uh, configuration, I'm going to get into configurations. There's only two things you really need to worry about which is registration key and audio mixer pipeline basically this is where you can configure it all which the mo most thing that I'm concerned about would be the output now on deck A the output 90% of the problems people have when they can't hear anything is that the output is set to silent alright 
Now look at when I set it to silent, you can't hear anything. But once I set it back to direct sound output, you can hear it. Now that's pretty tricky. And it's the same with all these. The only the only uh the only settings you want that are uh, set to direct are deck A, deck B, and sound FX. Now, voice effect is set to silent, but if you want to set it to direct sound, basically you just, you can hear yourself. Now that's pretty cool for some people if you want to test out your microphone and how you sound. And mixer should always be on <laughs> basically silent, because this will make it have an echo effect. Check it out. That should always be set to uh, silent. All right, guys, that's about it. As for configuration, uh, desktop B, I won't get too much into this really, but I'm just going to talk a little bit about it. Most of the time, on the encoders, there are different settings here. Most of the time, you will choose MP3 and MP3 Pro. Now, this will come up with converter, server details, and stream archive, where you don't really need to have the stream archive. All right, converter, the quality. Most of the time, it's high quality, and basically on the format, it goes all the way up to maybe 300. No, 320 kilobytes, which is basically on most uh, Habo fan sites that will kind of <laughs> turn your server off because most fan sites usually go up to about 64, maybe 120. And on the side, this most of the time, if you configure this right, it'll say you know your DJ name, such as mine, DJ Smashy is playing song title, but I don't use that. Server details, basically, you know, server IP, port, password. You guys know all that. And on a station name, you would just enter your DJ name, whatever, and website URL. Most of the time, I would click list on public station, listening recommended. I would untick that because you'll be ticked, uh, you'll be listed on the uh, spatial audio servers and whatnot. So that's about that. And right here on statistics, most time, most radios are ran as either shoutcast or IceCast. So you would choose Shoutcast and just enter the host IP, port, and password. And the color graph just simply shows the color on the side. Most of the time I choose orange. And most of the time I would choose I would tick private statistic relay because I don't want it to show on audio realm. That's about that. And desktop C, you know, who cares about desktop C? It's a piece of crap. No, it's not. Basically this you don't really need to worry about that too much. It's the same as desktop A, except you know you can have more you, if you want, you know, you can have desktop A show your playlist and desktop C show your decks, whatever you want. It's just two different things. All right, at the top, you can mute the sound. This will not mute for the listeners. This is if you want to mute it on your SAM broadcaster. So if you're doing something, it's that. All right, now we're going to talk a little bit more about the decks here and what they do. What I'm clicking is this button to fade to the next song which will just fade or you can click Q and it'll start at the beginning most of the time it'll just play the next song on the Q yeah well a little bit of problems here and this button right here right next to Q is eject which will basically when you have a song you click er, I don't want it <laughs> and you guys know this it'll just go to the next song stop pause play your usual functions Alright guys, well that's about it for here, and we won't get too much into details about anything else, but if you want, you can just check out everything really. The windows, there's a lot of different things like the event log. Alright, one of my uh, important things would probably be the event scheduler because you can just basically just add your events there, which I don't really use it much, I used to, and the DJ control, this is basically just the same, you don't really need it too much because, you know, look, manual fade. That's all it really does, right? And this would just crossfade. Just play the next song. And this would just basically just you no. Know. I mean it's pretty cool sometimes. Just change the tempo effects and stuff and I mean that's pretty cool to figure out. Anyway guys, th thank you for listening here. Right here. DJ Smoshy, also known as Smoshy, you can just call me Brandon. This is the uh, more detailed Sam 2 broadcast tutorial. Thank you guys for watching.